It's 6 p.m. in Melbourne, Australia, and here I am with a 200 milliwatt transmitter that is being heard on the other side of the world. It's whisper, of course. Decodes in Finland, Denmark, Germany, Austria, and France. For that to be possible, you'd think I'd have some massive stacked array of beams. There's no gain in the antenna whatsoever. It's a half wave inverted V at about eight meters above the ground. Briefly, the Whisper protocol is the invention of Professor Joe Taylor, K1JT, and it is a scheme for allowing propagation conditions worldwide to be detected in near real time. There is only one message type and it is static. It consists of call sign, maidenhead grid locator, and an indicator of power level. So that gives you 50 bits. By the time forward error correction is added, you're up to 162 individual symbols. And these are transmitted with 1.4648 Hertz tone separation at the glacial speed of 1.4648 board. The low power beacon transmissions are decoded by whisper capable receivers all over the world. And when a successful decode is made, it may be uploaded to a database, which then allows propagation to be shown in near real time. So any time of the day or night, I can check to see where my whisper beacon transmissions have been decoded anywhere in the world. Because the decodes are timestamped in the database, I can see propagation conditions from my location to wherever my signals were being decoded for any period since activity began. Here's how it was built. It's all based on an Arduino Uno sitting inside this prototyping case. So built-in cutout for the liquid crystal display and mounting holes and spaces for the Arduino Uno. This started out life as a GPS clock using this VeroBoard shield or prototype layer. This is the Ublox 6M GPS unit. This is a riser board and its purpose is to bring forward 12 volts, 5 volts, ground and the I2C lines, which can then be utilized by the SI5351 breakout board. So that gets us our clock. And then this board here, which is a generic 200 milliwatt HF power amplifier, plugs in there, and a pluggable low pass filter, which allows us to bring this up on different bands. I based my script on one of Harry D. Bugg's Whisper TX LP1. I think Harry is from Zaktek in Sweden. So thanks Harry for keeping your source open. The script had all of the Whisper frequencies from two meters down to 2200 meters. It works on one band. So I set the selected band here, it's hard coded, and also the percentage of the available time slots that the beacon will transmit. In this case, it's 75. So it's going to use three quarters of all available slots. Your call sign and maidenhead locator and also your power level in DVM are hard coded into the whisper data structure. Most of the work is done by libraries, Liquid Crystal. Software Serial is used by the UNO to talk serial to the Ublox GPS unit. The NT7S SI5351 library and 
another library from JSON NT7 is the JT encode library that does the encoding of the whisper modulation series of tokens. The rest of the code is simple. It's mostly just around basic control, looping, and managing the display. Powering it up starts the GPS scan. Whisper beacons transmit on the even minute, but they don't transmit every even minute. On this occasion, my beacon decided to transmit. So now it's running through its sequence of tones. The frequency on the second line is updated to show the actual randomly selected frequency within the 200 Hz whisper window for this transmission. After 110 seconds, the transmission ceases and there is a 10 or so second period which allows the world's receivers to do their decoding and upload spots to the database. The wiring is so simple it can be done on a breadboard. The UNO is wired up to an LCD in the usual way. It talks serial via D2 and D3 to the U blocks and I2C to the SI5351 breakout, which drives a QRPP power amplifier and low pass filter to the antenna. The RF power amplifier for 200 milliwatts was taken from EMRFD figure 12.32. I'm quite late to the whisper party. There are dozens and dozens of whisper projects online and on YouTube, everything from basic beacons spread around on breadboards through to some quite sophisticated multi-band beacons that give you quite extensive control. You don't need the GPS unit if you don't want to use one. You can just manually synchronize the clock or you can even have a push button and just keep one eye on your watch. The timing is not that critical. If you do experiment with Whisper, I hope you get the same sense of amazement at what's possible with tiny power levels under reasonable propagation conditions. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit like or subscribe and see you next time.